figured it out we're back in the game um we're in the middle of a pandemic things are crazy dallas just got shut down so we're stuck at home uh but obviously we're gonna come to you live anyway because that's what we do we're here for you yeah. we're not gonna i mean i got lucky i, I ran to dapas because i saw this coming a couple weeks a couple days ago and got my face not me matt not me just failing miserable uh but my man look, look, look at that Dappa. Dappa. his hands he doesn't know what to do with his look hands what are, you, what are you usually doing right now it's Sunday, so you know it's church and family and football, but there's none of that. <laughs> Even church is online. Can't do anything. Even yeah. I, mean, I was talking about when you're filming off the cut. Usually, right now you're 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 in the middle of oh, doing right artistic now? work. Yeah, what do you do? yeah? You don't even know what to do with yourself right now. No, well, man. but it's cool. Speaking yeah, of we'll speaking of everything that speaking of everything that's happening in the world, uh, we can't let it go without talking about a little sneaker business because this isn't just affecting this market but it's affecting everything else let's talk about it um it obviously is. the coronavirus has become a worldwide pandemic we are now the third biggest uh affected country uh, behind china and uh, italy um uh, we won't get too crazy into that because you guys i'm sure you're hearing about that on your local media and everywhere else but what we're going to talk about is what does this mean for sneakerdom and people who buy sneakers, sell sneakers, and now who make sneakers. What's up, man? Yeah. It's gonna be bad. So there are supply shocks happening all over and it's not supply of the raw materials right now, it's supply of the labor force that puts these things together. It's, it's not even just in factories like you would think. It, it's full scale. People are working from home, they're not able to have their meetings like they usually would, and so I think a lot of production cycles have been put on hold right now. Even when it comes down to designing, like a Nike HQ, they are not sitting down in offices right now. They're kind of doing what we're doing, right? So how does that affect your business? So I run a, I run a small business, much smaller than Nike, and it's a lot more difficult to work remotely when you're used to being in your office, in hands with people, and dealing face-to-face, -face, as opposed to what we're doing now. It's gonna. I think we're gonna see a lot of releases push back. Um, we're gonna see, oh, everything will be different moving forward. I mean, for the next God knows how long. They're saying it could last until the fall. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, it sucks, that's scary. It's scary, um, you know, and as far as like, you know, we have to wonder how many things, not only are getting pushed back, but how many things aren't getting made. You know, like Wuhan, which is where this all started. Um, yeah. That's a, that's, yeah. A, that's a major area of um, when it comes to manufacturing, and that's been shut down ever for months now and if nike has any factories there they're not working that means they're not making shoes italy uh in northern italy that was also a major a major manufacturing hub for um for goods and services that is also not happening and obviously here we're we're, we're shut down you know what i mean i can't i can't go produce a show dapa can't go cut hair i mean we can't even go to the shop to do this show at all um so i mean where Who's buying sneakers? I, you know, th I don't know if I'm going to be able to get another pair for what's in the bag for our next episode based on the fact that I can't go anywhere. I mean, our, our, our markets are still available, I guess. Like, goat, but goat shut down. Goat shut down. StockX is shutting down some of their uh, verification places and their shipping facilities. I mean, shipping and warehousing will remain open, but at what point do you consider yourself essential to the supply chain if you're dealing in sneakers probably not so those guys are probably going to get cut loose here pretty soon and that, that's a, like there there are shoes that are in the works i don't know how far down nike's gone as far as 
you know, having their stuff prepared and ready to go if any of that's been shipped over yet. Yeah, well, I don't know. You know, because anything that from right now, I'd say from what beginning of February from now until over there, as far as most of the world manufacturing is done. So there's, I don't know how many of those shoes are going to be made. If whatever's being designed now, is it going to be made? Unless they're doing it in Vietnam or Taiwan, but even those places will eventually shut down. Yeah. Yeah. Some are containing it better than others, and so you're not hearing about the cases there, but the reason they're containing it so well is because people are just doing what we're doing. They're quarantined up, and in theory, you could stop this thing in like two or three weeks if everyone stopped all the cases that, you know, people who have it right now would get it and it would run its course, but no new people would get it because yeah, we'd just be apart from each other. But it's not the way the world works, you know. People have to get out at some point. It's going to get caught by somebody, and this thing just it's going to last. People are also fire. stupid. You know what I'm saying? The spring yeah. break thing. This kid right here. Peep this video. Of this kid right here. If I get Corona, I get Corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. You know, I've been waiting. We've been waiting for Miami spring break for a while. About two months, we've had this trip planned. Two months. Yeah, I've been planning this trip for two months. I don't care. I don't give a damn. Da -da -da. You you know how stupid and foolish you sound? Like, I Selfish, get it. man. And we're, we live in a, at a time where, where nobody believes anything anymore. Everything's a conspiracy. Yeah. The media's making all this shit up. Da, 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 da. Well, you know what? No, you know, they say you can be asymptomatic. You can be feeling otherwise fine and be a carrier of this thing and pass it on to someone and then they get sick and they're really, really sick. You just gave that guy pneumonia even though you didn't feel bad. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And it's very, it's very selfish and it sucks because we're, I, we've said this before, it's very, and the sneakers, it happens too. We're, we're a very selfish bunch. You know, you don't know, you may go out and party because you think it's cool, whatever, and then you come home and you know, you go visit your grandparents or whatever, you give it to your grandparents like a dick. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Or give it to someone else who gives it to someone else who then gives it to your grandparents. It's lame. Huh? It, it's really lame and like it sucks because you can't, you can't go do sneaker meetups because you don't know where these people have been. You don't know what they're doing, and that doesn't mean you know what I'm saying I'm, that's no diss to them. Dirty people. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It, it, I don't. Let's be honest. A lot of people in the sneakers are young, and young guys want to go party, and they don't want to stay in the house, and they don't they don't care for what we're doing here. I'm good. We were young once. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember that. I party that. hard, so I know damn well the dudes have they're itchy. You know they want to go. They want to go to the bar and party. Nah, B, I'm here. There's no bar. Yeah, and like... No, it's nothing. So, I mean, they're still shipping stuff, so obviously we still have FedEx, you know, U, uh, UPS and USPS are still shipping things so we can still get them. But even then, you know, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting outside quarantining and, and cleaning up the box when it gets here. So it, it's kind of crazy what the... Is a talk bigger than sneakers economy as a whole? So the markets are suffering major right now. But... Um, and just not necessarily indicative of what's moving back and forth. So we look at like freight tonnage. So I'm in logistics, so I'm a little biased in my perspective here. But when it comes to freight tonnage, which is the amount of stuff moving on our nation's highways, which is how stuff gets delivered to stores, it's a good sign of commerce. And right now, things are crazy busy. Crazy busy. Because what are we doing at home all day? We're just sitting around shopping. For the most part, we're ordering crap and Amazon is out. Their prime used to be next day or two days at worst. And now you're looking at prime deliveries taking place five, six days out. And that's not because they don't have the stuff because there's none left. It's because it's all out on order. The stuff has been ordered and these warehouses are stocking up as fast as they can. I ship it, I'm shipping so much stuff right now. It's unbelievable. It's, it's nuts and it's, it's one of those, we're probably headed towards a recession, probably a depression, uh, but it's, you know, the crazy thing is it's not like there's not you know, it's not a, a, a money issue. It will become a money issue because people aren't working right now. But right now, yeah. you can't go out and get anything. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they want to send out a stimulus check. Cool, send me a stimulus check. I, I want to go buy something too. Can't go to the TV right there. Where am I going to mm. gonna? Where am I gonna go buy it? Everything is closed. I can't go get a fade yeah. from DAPA if I wanted to. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not going to happen. Uh, so, I mean, so. it's strange times. It's strange and it sucks. Uh, you know, like... I've seen, I feel like we're going to see sneaker prices plummet, you know what I mean? Because in two weeks... Without a doubt. Yeah, two weeks. On, on, on I think, with the exception of high heat. So I, I was looking around at prices and like Yeezys and things like that are moving cheaper than they normally would because I think people bulk buy those things. They've got a lot of pairs, so they've got a price in mind. Let's say it's 320 You start to look at your collection. You start to think about what's going on. You're like, oh, okay, I'll take 40 bucks off each pair. So now the price is sitting around 280 whatever it may be, but when it comes to the heat, like unions and stuff like that, uh, prices are pretty much holding steady because there's only a limited amount of those and the people that have them know that this, this too shall pass. 
Well, but the thing is, you know, at the same time, if this doesn't pass in two weeks or a month, you're right. Motherfuckers can't go to like most people who work in this. Uh, who gotta pay bills, right? Not all of them are fortunate enough to be, uh, you know, own their own company or work in a certain industry, you know, or you know, or whatever. They have no income. All they have is their shoes. When they when they when you have to choose between rent, food, and your sneakers, I'll buy your sneakers. Unfortunately, it sucks. It's gonna be a very terrible thing to hear, but they're gonna price is gonna be really low, and I'm probably gonna cop because of it. Because I'm still fortunate enough to be working, but that's just the reality of the world right now. Forces of supply and demand at work. So DAPA, let, let's let's talk about this for a second, because DAPA, you are a barber. You own a barber shop, and one of the first things that got shut down here, when it comes to you know non-essentials, it was barber shops have been mentioned specifically. So what are you doing as a business owner right now? It's extremely difficult. It really is because um, I think what's the most heartbreaking is the fact that uh, I had to send my barbers home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I would say a high percentage of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. So it's extremely difficult for me to have to shut business down and know that what's going to happen in two weeks if this isn't over. You know, most of my barbers are, are family, um, they're parents, you know, they have children. And so it's just extremely difficult. So I don't know, we're going to have to get creative in times like these and maybe start doing house calls. So maybe you guys can come to my house, I'll go to your house. Um, I really don't know, man. So support your city. We're yes. supporting ours, Dallas, you know what I'm saying? All of our friends are here. All of our people are here. And for us, the most important thing is you guys be safe. You know what I'm saying? Let's 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 help this thing pass. Stay home. And you know, with with that being said, let's bring you to off the cuts. Five things to do during the lockdown. All right. Who's ready? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Number Fire five. Home. Get organized. Clean up Get your sneakers. Get organized. Sneakers. Good organize shit. organize your house get things you know what i'm saying the things you've been putting off you know my room's a mess i'm gonna sit right here and i am going to get it all cleaned up i'm gonna get my ones over here my twos over there threes four fives i'm gonna go to my garage i'm gonna nice. clean that thing up i'm gonna get my house organized i'm gonna get myself organized that's a good one it's a good it's a good place to do this because we've got downtime and these are things that will help you not just in your mental state, but in your physical state as well. I'm a believer in energy and things like that. And your house, when it's clean and it's organized, your mind is also the same. Number four. I left my list on my phone. <laughs> Number four. I'm going to go ahead and keep it going. Number four. Complete that project. Learn how to cook or focus on a new skill that you now have the time to do. So if you've been putting yes. on, you know, getting that engine in your car or, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, getting that door creak to stop working or if there's a vent in your house that needs to get adjusted, do it now. Like me, yep. I can't cook to save my life. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to watch YouTube videos off the cut first and then I'm going to learn how to cook some shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make chips tomorrow. I'll send a video. That's what I'm I gonna finished do. this office actually because I knew that the quarantine was coming so we were out a little ahead of it we sent our I sent the employees home told them to get situated and so had my brother come over built a desk hung up all the stuff I put it in this facade brick wall which is real by the way sick <laughs> but stuff I never, normally wouldn't do but you know you get creative grab a guitar and play a little bit uh, if you've never done it before give it a shot you know read documentaries things like that use this time to enrich yourself Spend some time together. You know your local Make barber is at home? Shit. Reach out to Dappa. You know, talk talk haircuts. I'm sure he'd love to give you some pointers if you need them. If you're a shoe customizer, Absolutely. or if you have the Absolutely. idea that you want to customize some shoes, it's the time to do it. You got time. Yes. Do those type of things, learn something new. I'm willing to cook. That is going to be my objective for number four. Number three. Catch up on your that list of movies you haven't heard or haven't finished watching, that show that you haven't binge caught watch. up on, binge watch some shit, relax, be cool, put in that album, you know, the three, four that you haven't been able to listen to. The weekend just dropped on yeah. Pay you know what I'm saying? There's a bunch of Netflix shows. And Beto just shows. dropped. Everything, you know what I mean? Oh, wow. Take some time, cool out, listen, watch, be cool. Catch up on the things you enjoy. Number two, and this was important, relax. Meditate and take some time to yourself. Yes. Meditate. Just pray. pray. Forget FOMO. We all have it. Guess what, yes. man? Nobody's doing anything. So you're not missing out on shit. So this is a great time for you 
to just. Yeah, you know, I, I, if as bad as the situation is and the reasons that we're cooped up, as terrible as they are, the people who are sick, really sick and are dying out there, but most of us aren't. That's just the fact of the matter. It's not a cynical way of saying it. Um, so a lot of us are just kind of stuck inside. And it's a good time, I think, better than ever, to just kind of get back to being you. You've got time here. God knows how long, but it could be at least a week, two, to just kind of get right. Number one. Numero uno, OTC's top five things to do during the lockdown. Stay home. <clears throat> Stay your Stay ass home. home. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube and follow us at OTC.show. If there's any recommendations or anything you need, we'll be responding there. Until next time, I'm James Barcenas. I'm Dapper Dan. And I'm Matt Robinson. Peace, homies. Be safe.